All right, guys. Back with another video. Back with another vlog. What do we have here? Ooh, I got me a sweet treat, y'all. So I got this drink off Amazon. You know, you know, I love me a healthy drink because I really don't drink alcohol like that. So I try to find these drinks to satisfy my craving. And I found this 7, uh, seven T. 7 T, right? Um, I got this off of Amazon for 50 bucks. And it come in a pack of 12. Oh, snap. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, so we got um, Berry Hood Biscuit. We got Ginger Berry. Ooh, I'm excited about these drinks. I love me some good old drinks. Guava Mango? No way. Alright, then we got... um. White peach, ooh, tea joint, and I read the ingredients, they're pretty natural too, so I like it. There's no citric acid, there's no, you know what I mean? The ingredient is legit. You really, you really, get, we, we, we really have to start reading the ingredients, to be honest. Spot O Honey, Earl Grey Tea. So this is the, um, I got the variety pack. Uh, wildflower honey matcha tea. Ooh. All right. So um, it came with two. It came with two. Um, it came with two packs. So I'm not sure if it's all the same or a different flavor. Cause I got the worldwide flavor. Okay. So they're the same thing. So it's a pack. So a pack of twelve for like fifty bucks. A little pricey. It's a little pricey, but we're gonna see if it's any good, right? That's all I can do is just give it a try. So um, I'm going to try it later. I'm going to head to the store real fast and try to get me some watermelon. I was at my grandma's house last week, guys. And my aunt, um, my aunt got, what's the call? I, I was, I was shocked. She had, she, she found some watermelon with seed. You guys know how I feel about my fruits. My real fruits, my watermelon, or grape. I tell people if you can find, if you in the city, you guys know, you know, if you guys know where I can find some watermelon with seed, grapes with seed, give me a holla. I'll go buy the whole thing. Oh, I'm not playing around. Cause everywhere I go, it's always seedless. We're not doing seedless. I mean, you can, but I'm not. It don't do me nothing. So I found, so she had, she had like a few watermelons, a little small one, and they got black seed in them. I'm like, ooh. And she said, you can get them at um, H Mark. So I'm about to head to H Mark right now. Well, the H Mark she went to was down south and fed away. I'm up north. So I'm, not, I'm about to head to Linwood to see if they got any of those, um, Watermelon with the seed in there. See if they got it. So let's go see what it do guys Because I'll buy me the whole thing. I'll buy me like 10 right now. Watch. Watch me. Oh snap Snap. All right guys We are H mark right now Let's go see if we can find those um seeded watermelon guys Okay, that's what I'm looking for Please please have those seeded watermelon oh man because it is a different h mark so i'm hoping that they got the same one because uh, usually oh this should i mean but like i said you never know i go to whole food i go to whole food and i can't even find seeded watermelon or grapes it's so hard to get really hard They, they just don't produce it no more, to be honest.
we can go straight to the I see you right there I see you right there guys come on baby if they got it I'm going back to get the cart oh look at these these are $2.99 see this is what I'm talking about these are $2.99 Are these the one? Excuse me. This got the seat in there? This got a seat in there? I don't know. Mini seatless. And so this a mini seatless. Man. Mini seedless watermelon. Man, this is this is seedless, man. This one here? This one got a thing on there. Seedless? Man. What the heck, bro? It says seedless. Yeah, it's whack. Seedless, mi seedless mini watermelon. They ain't got the seeded one. What the hell, dude? You know what? I think I'm just gonna buy a few of these. You can't go wrong with these. Let's see if they got some mushroom over here. I usually don't shop over here, guys. I usually don't. But I want to see if they got any uh, good mushroom over here. So they got, um these then they got like oyster mushroom oh they got these these are pretty good right here you can make some fried stuff you can make some fried good mushroom oh they got king oyster they do got king oyster um yeah let me go and um let me go grab me a little cart real fast. Let me go grab a cart and grab a few Look, things here. I just had this yesterday. The Hello Kitty joint. And they're not bad either. They got the garden veggie. And they got the, um, they got what's it called? Hot and sour soup flavor. And they got the chicken noodle. Um, let's do the garden, man. Let's do the garden. Let's do the garden. What else do we want to do, y'all? What else do we want to do? Oh yeah, we're gonna grab some of these. Grab some of these. Two ninety nine. You ain't gonna beat that. No, you're not. Grab a few of those joints. I heard that the big ginger are no good. Look at the joint. Look at the joint. Look how big this thing is. I heard them joint. I heard them joint came from China. I'm just saying. But it ain't good. Not natural. We ain't gonna do that. Um, red onions, red onions, you know what, let's just grab a little, let's just grab a little pack, man. I do like red onion. Red onion is good. Something you want. Um, product of USA. It is product of USA, so we're gonna do that then. This certain, this certain thing you want from China, and this certain thing you don't want from China. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, let's get some shrooms. Let's get some shrooms, y'all. Let's get some shrooms. Um, I do want to try, I've been wanting to try these for a while. These right here. This is the, um, in, uh, what's it called? In Enoki mushroom, Enoki mushroom. So we're going to try these. I heard they made like pretty good like fried chicken and like, you know, stuff like that fish. So they got two different kinds. 
They got this kind. And they got the black one. Let's just try both of them and see what it do. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, she grabbed some of the oyster mushroom. I mean, the king oyster. Let's grab that drone too. Let's grab a few of those. $2.99, that's not bad. Let's just, let's just grab two of them king oyster mushroom. This is trepping too. Oh, they got the Durain. I don't like Durain. Oh, they got Kobe. They got Wagyu. No way, Jose. Look at that. They got Wagyu in this joint. Wagyu beef, 40 bucks. I ain't gonna lie, if I still eat meat, y'all. Oh man, look at the, um, look at the cut. Look at the fatty. Look at the fatty in that joint. Oh, man. Yeah, too bad I don't do it no more. Look, this is American beef Wagyu. Oh, they getting real fancy now. Look at this place. Oh, snap. And they got a bottle of wine in that joint, too. Wowzer. Oh, that's pretty cool, man. Look, they got, they got everything in this joint. Look at this. They got the vegetable up there. You can buy the little platter. And they got the uh, oxtail. They got the oxtail right there. They got a little bit of everything. Beef short rib. Look at that, they getting all fancy. Too bad I don't do that joint no more. No more Wagyu for me. We done. We done. I broke up with, uh, it's permanent. I broke up with, uh, I broke up with the red meat permanent. We don't do that, we don't do that joint no more. No can do. What else do, what else can we grab over here, man? I ain't gonna lie, guys, I'm kind of bummed out because I really did one of those um, seeded watermelon guys. That sucks, man. She. Man, that's a banner, dude. I actually like coming here on a Monday. There's ain't nobody here. You can actually, um, you know what I mean? Have the store to yourself. Oh, what the heck is that? I'm over in the snack aisle, guys. Let's see if we can find anything that's healthy. I just want to find something healthy. It's so hard, I can't find anything, guys. I just turn, turn the box over and look at it. I don't say sugar. I don't say um, dairy and stuff like that. It's hard. It's really hard when you're shopping around. You're trying to find something healthy. It's not easy. Because the thing is, like, I just can't be, you know, you know how when you go to the grocery store, you just put stuff in the um, cart. Just like that. You can't do that no more. I have to read it and see if it's any good for me, right? It ain't easy, I'll tell you that. It's a struggle. Because when you look at the package, you look at the box, you're like, ooh, that looks good. That looks good, I wanna buy that, right? And then you read it, you're like, <sighs> you read it and it's no good. It's like, oh man, you gotta put it back. So it's just, it's a bummer. Modest sodium glutamate, I can't even do that. That's fuck. The fur joint. Uh, so these, I know, I realize that these little Hello Kitty um, noodles are pretty good. Let me just try the flavor instead of getting the box. So let me just get um, a few of the veggies, hot and sour, get the spicy. What else they got? Oh, they got the chicken too. Let's just get, let's just grab all the flavor. Instead of getting a box, I think that'd be easier. You know what I mean, let's just do that. Oh, all right. I, mean, I love noodles, but I just try to avoid it, guys. I try to uh, not eat too much of it. 
Every now and then I'm gonna throw down and try to grab me something. But it's not like an everyday thing though. You just can't do that. They still got the, this is the styrofoam right here. Y'all better get rid of this. You better get rid of that, man. We ain't doing nothing more. <gasps> What's this? Roasted pork? Roasted sour pork bone? Man, I'm not doing that. That looks pretty cool. But look at this, guys. They got my favorite flavor, the shrimp. And it's paper, too. 99 cents. Cheaper than buying out Boeing. Let's grab a few of those joints. Shrimp's my favorite. I ain't give a damn. I'm grabbing. I'll grab a few of those. They got the chicken too. They got the beef. Yeah, that's all we doing. What? We I didn't realize they got the vegan shin cup noodle. Oh snap! They got the vegan joint. This is new. I definitely gotta try this. Hopefully, the, hopefully the ingredients are pretty good. Look, look at the damn ingredients, y'all. You got to be. You gotta be kidding me. They got all kinds of stuff in here. Wow. I don't, think I, I don't think I can do it. Should I just do it one time? But they got a lot of stuff in here. Man, let me just try it one time, forget it. I'm gonna do it again. All right, what else can we find over here? Look at this. Humbell, man, I used to love them humbells. Man, this barbecue pork humbell used to be my favorite. I wonder if they got a veggie humbell. Got the spinach. What the heck is that? A Taiwanese loading cake? That looks pretty cool. Look what I just found. Sweet ube. Pow, steam bun. No way. This might be the one, y'all. Just read the ingredients, bro. My God, all the stuff they got in here scares me. Water, high fructose corn syrup. Why are you guys still making food with high fructose corn syrup? I do not get this. Did you guys not get the, did some of you guys not get the memo that we did not make food with high fruit toast corn syrup no more? Why are people still doing this? See, y'all just lost a customer because I ain't doing that. You got a thousand ingredients, you got all this stuff in there, like it's not necessary. Mm, mozzarella cream cheese. Some of this stuff be looking good, y'all. Mozzarella and cream cheese. I don't know. Maybe. I'm trying to lay off the bean. Ooh, they got the red bean and cream cheese ball. Man, you know what? You know what? This is process. This is processed food, so I can't. I can't be doing some. I can't be doing some of these stuff. It's process. I can't do it. None of it. Call my name, but sometimes you just gotta learn to, um, you know what I mean? To ignore it. You just gotta learn to ignore it. It's just what it is. You know what? Look at these. Um, these are the um, Korean dog. These are not bad. I mean, mozzarella cheese and fish sausage. I don't know about all that. Fish. You got anything more healthier? They got potato. I think I might do the potato joint. Mozzarella cheese. This is just potato. Real, real whole potato. All right. We can probably give, we can probably give these a try. And the ingredients, not that bad either. It's just potato, purified water, vegetable, and they got soy, oil, vegetable oil, soybean. Oh man, see, they gotta put soy. If it's not this, it's that. If it's not that, it's this. I do want to try it though. Should we just do it one time? Should we just do it one time to see how it goes? Cause you guys might like it, right? I might buy this. I might buy this and it might be good and you guys might don't, you might, you guys might not care about soy, right? So let me just do it for you guys one time. 
a glizzy potato. I'm gonna try this. This is the spicy vegetable dumpling, but everything got soy, 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 soy. Everything got soy in there. I can't even do it, man. That's a crap thing. That's a crappy part about it. Just the ingredients, just not, you know, my style. Oh, they got like a sushi over here too. Fried shrimp. Look at that, they got kimchi on deck. I've never seen so many kimchi in my life. From here, all the way over there. <laughs> they got the sweet and sour chicken. Oh my goodness. This one thing that I do like is sweet and sour chicken back in the day, man. Sweet and sour chicken is the business. I'm trying to tell you that right now. Oh, they got the mackerel right there. Stew mackerel reddish. That doesn't look bad. It looks spicy. It looks spicy. What do we got over here? Some kind of dish. What? Look at this. So, this is made from here. It looks like it's from some a different country. There's no, I can't read the ingredients. Let's just try this, y'all. I'm, I'm pretty sure the ingredients are way better than the one down here. They got the seven up too. See, look, it's from a different country. I'm not, I'm not read it. But it's from another country, and I'm pretty sure the ingredients are way better than over here. Let's just try it. I'm curious. What is this? Original? Mm. Let's just try this too. I'm gonna try everything. They got so many drinks over here, guys. It's crazy. I don't even know what to get. Look at all these drinks. This is like from all over the world and stuff like that. They get all sorts of stuff. I do need some more apple cider though. This looks pretty interesting. Organic. Cane sugar, so this got this got cane sugar. I don't know if I want cane sugar. Oh, well, they got the coconut right here. My shoes are untied. This got carbonate water or cane sugar. See, uh, I don't really want cane sugar though. Yeah, we'll just not do it. Let's see if we're finding healthy over here. Orange cake. What are these? These are the cream puff. Too much ingredients, I don't like it. How about this? Um, egg, water, wheat, flour, cornstarch, water. You know what, this is not bad at all. See, this, this got like a five or six ingredients. I think I'm gonna try this. Japanese style sponge cake. Let's go for these. Man, I swear you can't find nothing. Like the ingredient is just horrible. Some of these, some of these ingredients got like 50 in there. I'm like, are you serious? I don't wanna do 50. You know what, look like, look like the original is probably better. Let's try the original, cause look, they got a lot of green tea, but they barely got any original. So I'm going for the original. We're going to put the green tea away. Look like the original is more, um, better. Oh, look, they got the ube. This ube? No, I'm good. I'm 
got to fall back. Honey cake with walnut? See, I like the honey, I like the walnut. Damn. What the heck is all this? So I'm reading the ingredients on this. Um, layer of honey cake with caramel filling, flavor filling top of walnut, honey crumbs, and cocoa strip packaging. Uh, protective atmosphere ingredients. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it does got um, milk and dairy. It does got dairy and you know hydrogen oil. It got a few stuff in there that I don't like. You can say it may contain soya, but um, overall, I mean, it's not that bad. It does look good. This drink costs twenty five dollars. This drink costs twenty five dollars. I wonder. I wonder if it's even worth trying. To be honest, because this is not from here. This might be good. This might be good, and I don't want to lose the opportunity of trying something that's good because you can't just buy the stuff here. You know what I mean? Like this was shipped from a different country. It was shit from a different country. I think I might need to pull the trigger and grab this. I'm curious. And when I'm curious, I want to try it. I want to try it one time. I think I'm going to do it. 25 bucks is pricey. But they're charging that kind of price. I'm thinking it's going to be pretty good. I'm thinking it's going to be pretty good. Let's just do one. Let's just do one. Let's just do one. And we'll see what it do. See, they got so many stuff here. Like, I usually don't shop here by myself. I usually come here with my wife. This is like the first time, you know, I'm here shopping by myself. Usually I don't do this. Pineapple cake. But it's nice just to um, come by yourself, you know what I mean, and check it out and just walk around and not be rushed. And you know what I mean? Like, it's nice to do that. So I like to come out every now and then by myself and just look around, see what, uh, see what they have. You know what I mean? I was trying to buy some ginseng drink earlier down there, but it was just um, no good. They had high fructose cream strip. They got, they got all kinds of stuff. Let's see if this one's any better. Uh, if it's crappy ingredients, I don't want it. Right, guys, we're all wrapped up, ready to go. How you doing? I haven't had this in a long time. Today we're doing this. I'm saying it's gonna be a. I'm saying it's gonna be a hundred bucks. What do you guys think? It's gonna be under a hundred. It's gonna be under a hundred. We got a few more items. We did it guys, under 100 bucks. It was 94.10. Every time I go grocery shopping, I always like have like a number in my head, like try not to overspend. I'm like, all right, I'm about to go uh, grocery shopping, right? I'm gonna keep it under. 100 bucks or 100 bucks is the max. Maybe 150, maybe 200. I always have a lid in my head. And I don't, I don't calculate nothing. I just put it in my button in the cart. I'm like, all right. And I did pretty good, to be honest. It was 94 bucks. That was like in my head, like, you know what? I'm not gonna overspend. I'm gonna just try to keep it under 100 bucks around there. 94 bucks. You ain't gonna beat that. Should we get something here? Oh, they got the egg tart. Those are big. Those are the big egg tart. Turkey pizza? What the heezy for sheezy? Oh, okay, they got salsa, garlic, milk, and cheese. They got pho. I've had, I've had, I haven't had pho in a hot minute. Oh, the sushi place closed down? The sushi place closed down. You know what, I got used to the restroom. They better not steal my cart. I'm gonna leave it right there. Let's make this quick. Oh, it's still, it's still here. It's still here. Nah, I don't want anything here, guys. I don't want anything here. Um, 
No. The cake looked pretty good over here though. Look at the cake. Look at the cake. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. You know what? Let's just try the egg tart. Because I don't think I had it before like this. This is pretty big. Let's just try the egg tart. Let's just try an egg tart and see what they do. Alright, let's just try this egg tart. You know I'm a sucker for egg tart, guys. I already, I already bought a few dessert at the little grocery store, but I feel the need to try this. I don't know why. But I just gotta try it because it's, it's a little bit bigger and just. I don't know. It was, something was telling me to buy it. I wish it was piping hot. You guys ready? Yeah, it's not worth it. Giving this a giving this a five. Mm -mm, it's not the business. Too soft. Flavor's not there. I'm sorry. I'm still gonna finish it though, but it's getting a five. Yeah. That one's a trout as well. That's a trout too. Yes. Uh, can I get that one? Okay, how's Uh, just one star. Okay, and jasmine rice or brown rice? Uh, jasmine rice. Okay. And can I also, um, yeah, that'd be it. Okay, can I get your name? Uh, Bobby. Okay, about like 15 minutes. Do you guys have papaya style too? Yeah, we have Lao style or the Thai style. Lao style the Thai style. Can I get the Lao style? Okay. And um, how spicy? Uh, just uh, one star is fine. Okay. Okay. That's it? Okay, that's it. Okay, yeah, about like 15, 20 minutes. Okay, gotcha. Thank you. Okay, yeah, thank you. Alright guys, so... I'm being lazy. Um, I should just go home and make me a smoothie, cut me some mango, you know what I mean, um, instead of going out to eat, because I've been, I've been going out to eat all weekend, I have a bad habit of, when I'm out on the road, buying something, that I'm lazy, I don't want to go home and make it, so I'd rather just order it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's so bad. I'm trying not to. Like I said, it's just a bad habit. But, um, whoa. It's just a bad habit that I, um, be doing every now and then. You know what I mean? Like, it's just so much easier just to order out. You know what I mean? Like, we all do it. <laughs> we all do it. Just so much easier. Be like, oh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna cook. Cause who, who wanna cook? Who wanna wash dishes and do all that, right? Who want to do all that? You order out, you throw everything away, you don't really get a, um, you know, um, what's it called? Uh, not sure if it's wasting time, but just doing all the extra stuff, right? So it's Monday. I don't know, man. I was out today shopping for the for the food, and. I'm just being lazy right now, you know, and I'm craving, I'm craving that trout. The last time I had it was delicious. I think my wife ordered it. She ordered me a different kind. It was the garlic one, but I want the one she just said. Um, there's two different, there's two different type of trout, and this one is good. 
is good. I'll tell you that. So, um, yeah, it was just, I love trout. Fried fish, fried fish is just, fried fish is just something I can't resist. You know what I mean? I had fried catfish last, um, this weekend. You know what I mean? I don't do fish every day, you know. I'll, I just try to do it on the weekend, you know what I mean? But, yeah, the weekend comes, I'm doing fish. But, you know what? It's a nice day today. Look at look, look at the sun. The sun's... Look at this. Look at this. The sun's out. So, I'm like, you know what? The sun's out. I'm feeling good. I'm charged up. You know, let's just... Let's just have some fish. Let's just have some fish today. With some mango. I got some mango at home. I'm gonna chop up. It's getting bad. The mango was just the mango was just sitting at home getting bad. See, I have a bad habit. I have a bad habit of doing that too, like buying stuff, fruits, whatever, and just have, have it sit there. Then it gets bad. You know what I mean? So I have to eat the mango today. I'm gonna chop it up and eat it with the fish. You know what I mean? It's just one of them things that I'll be having it sit there like the mushroom. I'll be doing that. It's a bad habit, man. I don't know why I do that. Like, you buy, you plan to eat it, but it's like, you know, you'd rather eat something else, right? You'd rather eat like junk food, you know what I mean? You'd rather eat like candy or, you know what I mean? Snacks, you know what I mean? Nobody wanna eat the fruits. Nobody want to eat the fruits, right? They just they, they, they buy, let it sit there, you know what I mean? And like I said, I'm guilty of it because I know damn well I should be eating fruits right away, not wait, not waiting a week later until it's almost bad and you want to eat it, you know what I mean? So to me, it's like I got to get out of that bad habit of telling myself, eat the fruit first, eat the vegetable first, eat the junk food last. But the thing is, the junk food sometimes overpower the fruits and the vegetable, right? It overpower. Everybody wants junk food in the world. Not everybody, the, but majority of everybody wants the junk food in the world. It's just the ingredients that's put in these junk food, it gets you hypnotized. I'm talking about kids to adults. Kids to adults. That's powerful right there, guys. You know what I mean? Um, you know, when you, don't, when you don't think about it like that, it's normal, right? You're like, oh, it's just, it's just the Oreo. It's just candy. It's just a cupcake. You know what I mean? It's just a soda. But if you think deeper and you get it, you're like, no. It's not just a soda. It's not just a cupcake or a cookie, right? It's more to it. You know what I mean? So it's just like... You know, I get it, but I still do it every now and then. I don't do it all the time, but like I said, it's hard, man. I get what people are going through, you know what I mean? Um, trying to eat healthy, man. I really get it, man. That's why I don't be judging people, man. I try to help people, and I try to even tell myself that, you know, have the balance. I don't do it all the time, but it's very addictive, man. Oh, my goodness. I didn't realize how addictive it is until you stop eating it for a while. And then, you know what I mean? And it, it just, when it's there, when it's free, you know what I mean? And you're, you're craving it, you're hungry, you're gonna eat it. Yeah, it takes, it takes, real, it takes real discipline, right? It takes real discipline. You know, it takes, it takes a powerful mind to say, to say no. I'm not gonna eat this. Not today. You know what I mean? I'm gonna have a balance. I'm not gonna overeat. And I'm gonna cut this out my diet. You know what I mean? It takes real discipline, man. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's not easy. It's a struggle, I tell you. You know, but I get it. Some people don't care. You know what I mean? And I get that a lot, right? People be saying like, you're gonna die anyways. Eat what you eat, do what you do, you're gonna die anyways. I get that, but at the same time, it's like, don't you want to live a healthier life? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, don't, don't you want that? You know what I mean? Because the thing is, like, if people say that, right, that, that must be like, I don't think they have, like, a powerful mind. You know what I mean? Like, 
to say that, right? Because I get we're gonna die, but um, we all, you know, we're not here forever. But while we're still here, why don't we make the best of it, right? Take care of ourselves, take care of our family, our friend, look out for each other. You know, I get that too. That's why I'm like, you know, I, it's like, um, but it's, but like I say, it's hard because the thing is, um, when it's good, it's good, you know, because you're like, you know what? I don't care. I love to eat. And I think, I think eating food, it's like one of the biggest things in this world. Like, with like, you know, you, you live to eat. You know what I mean? It's like, it's big. Like, if you look around, there's people posting pictures and videos of just, eating food, mukbang, YouTube, you name it. Like, where do we go eat? You know what I mean? Every day, like, people is looking to go eat and drink. So I get it, it's big. The culture of food is big. You know, every day, people come up with new ideas and, you know, for food, you know what I mean? There's always something different, right? That we like, oh man, I wanna try that. Oh, that looks good, look at that cookie. Oh, look at that noodle, look at that taco burger. There's, there's always something different. So I think it's very big that um, the food culture in this world, you know, like I didn't realize like, wow, people don't care. They just wanna know what's the best burger, what's the best place to eat. I'm gonna go there and I don't care, you know what I mean? And that's fine, you know what I mean? People are gonna do what they gotta do, but you know, it's just like, um, as far as for me, it's like, I do that too, but it's just, there's, there's certain things that I don't, I don't, you know what I mean, that I don't do no more, you know? So I was like, I do my little food review here and there, you know what I mean? But it's like, it's not, it's nothing, it's nothing crazy because I'm not like a real food critic. I might do a little bit here and there, but that's, you know what I mean? Cause like I said, I don't do chicken beef, I don't do red meat. So I, it's not like a real food review. I just do it more for like the plant base and you know, I might do a little cheese here and there. So it's just me having fun with it. But there's really people out there that really do this food review and they, they'll eat anything. You know what I mean? Like like their, their channel or their, you know what I mean? Their channel and their, um their page is all about food, you know what I mean? Like, they take it to a whole new level. And for me, it's like, I get it, but I'm not like that crazy over it, you know? I'm not like gonna take it to the extreme where I'm just eating everything and trying everything because I'm, I'm watching what I eat because I, I do wanna um, live a healthier life. You know, do you dig what I'm saying? I love myself and I do wanna live a, like a longer, healthier life. So I do watch what I eat. I don't eat 24 seven. You know, I have my fast that I do. I stop eating at a certain time, you know, during the week. The week is one thing. I might throw down a little bit more, but you know, it's like, uh, I'm really watching what I eat and do and stuff because, you know, I know that um, it's not good just to be eating 24 seven, stuffing yourself up, you know what I mean? Your body need a break. And I watch some of these YouTuber and food critic, they be, they be eating like four or five times a day, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's crazy, you know what I mean? To shoot these videos and stuff like that. And I just think that's, wow, that's just, it's not good for the body, man. You know what I mean? So, you know, people gotta do what they gotta do, right? That's how people get paid. That's how people get their views and stuff is doing this food review. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not doing all that. But I will do a little something, something. I don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm just, I was on a mission for a little bit. What was I even talking about, y'all? I was talking about the fish. I was talking about, I was lazy to cook. And then it just, you know what I mean? Went to something else. <laughs> Sorry about that, but you know, like I said, I'll be in the zone sometime. It'd be one thing to another topic, you know what I mean? But, um. Yeah, that's what it is. Like I said, I'm lazy to cook, so I'm gonna go grab me some fish. I'm gonna go home, and I'm gonna, um, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna see you at the crib. Y'all be easy. So bye, so bye, guys. Let's, um, let's grab this real fast. Head back to the crib, because um, it's about five o'clock already, guys. All I had was the egg tart. You know, I'm starting to get a little hungry. We got the bag.
We got the trout. I ain't gonna lie, man. I love trout, y'all. Fried trout? <laughs> Pie salad? That's just simple. Just give me something simple. <laughs> That's all I need. You know, I try to be a simple dude. I try to be a simple guy. That's all I'm trying to do, man. I don't want to be too extra. I mean, every now and then, I can be extra. But I try not to. During the week, during the week, Monday to Thursday, Monday through Thursday, I try to be simple as possible. I try to be simple as possible. But once Friday hit, Saturday, man, man, I be acting up a little bit. You know how that go once the weekend. You work so hard. Sometimes you just want your hair down. You know what I mean? Act up a little bit, have some fun, get a little loose. It's just what it is. It's okay. I, I believe it's okay to act up every now and then and have some fun, right? It's okay. Just don't do it all the time. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You, you ain't gotta be so difficult all the time. Sometimes it's, it's cool to just to kick back and just be simple. You know what I mean? I like that. I like to be simple sometimes. I don't want to be difficult all the time. Cause that's not good. You know what I mean? So, um, yes, oh, but this cat, but this trout with this sauce right here, stupid. Hold up, man. I don't know what to do. Hold up. Let me pull this out real fast. Let me just put it like this. I'm gonna do it like this. And then you want to. And then you want to dip the whole thing, just dump it. Oh my goodness. That's stupid right there. So they do got the Thai style and the Lao style. I always try the Thai style. So this time we want the Lao style. I believe the Lao style is more authentic, I believe. But let's see what it do, y'all. Come on now. It's just a, it's just a little bit of rice, it's nothing, nothing too crazy because all right, let's try the um, papaya salad. Cheers, you guys. It's not bad. So I did chop up the mango, guys, because it, it was getting bad. I need to eat the mango. Eat your fruits, please. Please, please do. Mm. All right, this is the main dish right here, the trout. Man, so last, so they got the, so they got the garlic trout and they got the pan. This is like the pan, something I, I didn't hear it clearly, but this right here, oh man, this has got to be my favorite trout, <sighs> hands down. The sauce is amazing. 30 bucks for um for um the fish and the papaya salad. This is this is like my go-to if, if I if I want like a nice little fish plate. This right here is probably one of my favorite right now. This is a game of 10. Do the review on this um <clears throat> 7T. This one's gonna be the guava mango tea. Like I said, I paid 12, uh, 50 bucks for a 12 pack. I hope it's good. Let's see what it do. It's not bad. Premium brew of organic guava leaf using mineral spring water. Organic, fair trade, certified, evaporate cane juice, organic mango puree, organic guava flavor, organic lemon juice concentrate. That's it. Besides the concentrate, excuse me. This is actually pretty good. I like this. Organic too. A little pricey, but I like it. Look it up. They got it off Amazon. I think I bought the last pack. 
Mm -hmm. I like it. All right, guys. I'm going to wrap up this food. We'll catch you guys in the next vlog. Y'all be easy. Love, peace, and happiness.